human beings have always faced great risks. For hundreds of thousands of years, life was short, stark, tough, and often brutal. For most people today, life does not involve the struggle for mere existence, but risk still exists. In recent years, the world has suffered a catastrophic tsunami, hurricanes, killer earthquakes, an ongoing HIV AIDS epidemic, resistant strains of tuberculosis, murders, suicides, and the potential of an avian flu pandemic, not to mention terrorist attacks on many continents. Unfortunately, the frequency of disasters is increasing. Change and globalization are the major driving forces. Communication is now crucial. Not only does the media communicate disasters instantaneously, increased world population, vulnerable technology like the internet, global warming, and increased contact between people of different ideologies and cultures have made the world a more dangerous place. However, as we will illustrate in this program, fear and terror are counterproductive. What we need is hope and preparedness. We will address how to cope with disaster as individuals, as organizations, as cities, and as nations. Different strategies must be deployed to prevent disasters and to cope with these inevitable crises. As we will discuss in this program, developing communication competence and resources is the key. But what kind of communication is most effective? How can we collaborate in networks to optimize the use of our resources for reducing risk and increasing our security? I invite you to participate to learn and discuss these issues and challenges and to better prepare for their mitigation, management, and even prevention. Thank you.